teach you how to import your pictures um, from your camera. Okay, whatever camera, camera you guys have into your Mac. So right now I'm in the latest OS here and I'm just gonna import my picture. So before we do that, I want you guys to, I'm assuming you're watching this video because it hasn't been working, right? So go into this website. So I'm gonna show you the link. All right, so don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you this link. Um, and you can see it down here in the bottom of the description. So you guys can just copy and paste it. And then what you guys are gonna do right here is just enter what your camera is. So I'm gonna type in T55, for example. It could be any camera. And then choose from the menu, whatever you guys have. And from there, we're gonna download the software that you need. Now, I know a lot of you, if you're new to this, uh, this didn't work for some reason. Okay, so if you guys are new to Canon, um, you might got a CD with it and usually that's garbage because it's usually way out of date and it's not gonna work especially if you have Mac it, it just won't work at all so right now um, for me utility 2.14 has been working just fine however for some of you it's not gonna work okay so it depends what camera you guys have and you guys might just get this option for some weird reason right although iOS um, not iOS, <laughs> this utility, Canon utility, um, the version 3 came out, it's not just available for any camera for some reason, but it does work with any camera. So, instead of typing whatever camera you guys have, just type in this model, okay, and you guys will see, down here below, utility 3.6. So download that into your Mac and it's gonna work. Now I'm gonna show you with the older version, although I am in the latest version of Mac, Sierra, um, Utility 2, hold on, Utility 2 will work, okay? So Utility 2.14, just make sure it's up to date. Um, once again, you can update it from here, so you can just download it from here. It's free, there's nothing about it, it's nothing to it. If you guys are in somewhere else, not in the US, don't worry, you can still download it from here, Canon's International, so you can download from the US website. You don't have to worry about that. So, once you guys have it downloaded, just hook up your camera. So I'm just gonna turn on my camera right now. I'm gonna transfer in one of my pictures so you guys can see what the process looks like and if it's working. So keep in mind, I'm, I'm, I just have the older version. Uh, the utility should be popping up. Let's see, there we go, finally. So here we go, it's detected. You guys can see that it's utility two. All right, I haven't updated because I don't see the need for it right now. So I'm just gonna pick select what I want to download. And there we go. So we just pick this. It's just a picture, it's not a video, but I can download videos this way. Same thing, I just click down here below. So I just checked what I got. If you guys have a bunch of pictures, you guys can go up here put select all and from there just go down here below in the left hand corner click download and it's going to start downloading just click download again um, it's going to go to my desktop I'm going to click ok and there we go so right now I transfer my picture it's going to open this up I actually never used this so I'm just going to just close this um, but it just transferred my picture and that's the best way if you guys uh, If this is not working for you guys, I'm assuming you guys been using Photos app, which is horrible just Horrible because it takes so long to import and export and then when you're exporting sometimes it doesn't export everything like you want it to um, Especially for those of you guys who care a lot of your metadata um, I know photos app just not for that I recommend Photos app for your iPhone, iPad, if you're transferring pictures like that. But other than that, you guys should be using the appropriate software for your Canon. And this is the best software right now available. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.